Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Lon Paul here. We're doing our weekend anomaly mission. It's of course a really late uh, in the in the play here. Unfortunately, it started on Friday, and this is a Saturday recording. Uh, well after my live stream in the morning, so I apologize for getting to it so late. But hey, at least we have it for the weekend, right? And something you can view later on at your leisure. So we want to thank you all. Uh, those of you who were able to join us this morning at the live stream in order to see us make the record run on uh, the Liquidators Expedition, I really appreciate all, your, all of you who were there today, and I appreciate your being there. Thank you very, very much for all the new subscribers and people who have joined the channel. Welcome to the family. Thank you very much, folks. All right, so we're already here in the Anomaly. That's where we're starting. We've got our ship here. I'm going to go ahead and switch ships real quick here, which you can do inside the Anomaly, and we're going to choose... Let's go with the Starboard. Starborn Runner today. I like this one. It's a good ship to try. All right, so let's head over to the Anomaly. Uh, pardon me, the Nexus inside the Anomaly and see what our mission holds. As usual, the little blue icon at the top, bluish green icon, whatever is indicating that we have a mission available for us. Bloodthirsty plants. We're going to be eliminating hazardous flora. Uh, that, does that ring a bell with me? Huh? Okay. We get living glass as a reward, plus some nanites. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and start the mission. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a pretty straightforward mission. It involves us obviously taking out a whole bunch of the uh, hazardous plants. But there are a couple tricks to it, and we're going to show you that here in this episode. As usual, we leave the space station. The anomaly, we're heading out into the... Into the void. It's going to take us to a special place where we'll be eliminating them. But the starting point is always going to be a traveler grave. It is very important to hit that spot. Unfortunately, unlike other missions where it basically is just an approximate location or just a spot on the planet that you're allowed to land at. You can land anywhere you want. It's very specific on where it wants you to land. So, let's take a look here. Oh, looks like it's this little world over here. It says approximate, so we'll have to look for the grave on the planet. So as we take a look around the system, it's a very nice looking system. This looks like a pretty decent world. Frozen anomaly, it'll be cold, so no big deal there. Debated indium. That is the most expensive metal on the on the uh, in the universe. But it has been nerfed. It's not as expensive as it used to be. But it is always good to try to make a base here, at least at the space station, so you can come back to this area. All right, so we've got an approximate location. So what we're looking for is at the radar at the top, you're looking for the icon that looks very similar to a traveler grave. Basically, it's going to be a diamond-shaped icon, and we just want to take a look around. All right. So just keep an eye on the map above, or the, pardon me, the, the radar area above, and see if you see anything that shows up. Let's head down. It might be down here below. This looks like water, so I don't think it's going to be underwater, do you? Okay, so I don't think it's going to be here. Let's head back up a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Nope. Oh, wait, wait. Right in front of us. Right there. Good. There's our icon. Okay. Let's take a walk over. And this is how we started. We have to hit the grave. The atmosphere here, but by the strangling vines. Very little ammunition. The fallen traveler's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout the lo to locate the hazardous flora. Okay. So now we can start our mission. So we, if we had taken something out in the meantime, it would not have counted towards our mission. Now it looks to me like somebody has set up a base here. <laughs> very interesting. Um, very, very interesting. So we could stop here if you want. You can use that base computer if you wish. 
Now it tells us that there's something up there or down here or something in this general area. But I'm going to show you a little trick too. Oh look at that. Even a portal will leave to lead here. We're going to switch out of this mode. And we're going to look for something that could be buried. Like for instance this. The humming sacks indicate that we have an underground chamber up there. So a cave. Let's go ahead and head for the cave system, shall we? Alright, so this incoming storm could be severe, just keeping an eye open on that. Interesting. Like a little ledge here, but it's not quite a cave, right? Alright, looks like we get a couple plants up there. So let's head on up. I want to take a look around, because I'm looking for a cave. There we go. And there they are. That's the things we're heading towards. So these are less than 80 clicks away. As you can see, the heat's really kicking in. We might have tornadoes here, so we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled. And there is one there, so let's go ahead and take that out. Mining beam. Good. Um, I think we're going to change multi-tools here. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the Polygon Blaster. That looks good. There we go. Runic Lens. Alright. So we're just going to look for something that's buried. There we go. Right there. So, since I'm not finding a cave entrance, let's go ahead and use our Terrain Manipulator. There we go. There we go. And this will protect us as well. Oh, looks like we found our cave. Alright. The reason I'm looking for a cave is for a couple different reasons, actually. One of them is because... Oh, it looks like there's our cave entrance, by the way. Okay, as we're looking for hazardous flora that resides in caves. You all know them by the plants that exude nice little smells and stuff like that. Not cave marrow, but particularly those guys. They usually reside in groups. And in this case, I've gotten a cave that really doesn't match what we're looking for. Because it's not really containing a lot of them. There we go. But these caves tend to contain usually large clumps of them. And if you can find them, then you can usually get your entire 15 in one shot. There we go. So, doesn't look like we're finding too many here. Looks like there's a couple more up there. We'll go ahead and get that one. Looks like I found yet another one. It might be above, though. That one's probably above ground. Yes, it is. Okay. So, and you're protected from the elements in here, too. And that's the best part. But since we're not finding what we're looking for, let's go ahead and exit this place. There we go. And we'll go ahead and head out. And we'll use this to judge what we're looking for. There's another plant right there. And another one right there. Very dangerous location that we got here. Make sure you take care. Good deal. This is kind of a crazy place. Now, for those of you who are new to No Man's Sky and don't have a lot of upgrades and stuff like that, you may want to try some kind of flatter ground someplace that you can do this from. You don't have to stay in the vicinity of the grave. Okay? You can go elsewhere to get your plants. Okay? Looks like we've got a whole bunch of them up here on this hillside.
Look at that. I got a crop of them. There we go. Looks like we got all of them, finally. So by all means, get yourself some materials from here. The activated indium is very handy. It has a 4 to 1 ratio on creating, uh, pardon me, 1 to 4 ratio on creating chromatic metal. We <laughs> Almost didn't turn it on in time. Okay. There we go. So now we got to return to the Nexus to receive our reward. There's nothing more to do here, and that is the end of your mission. But again, you don't have to stay near the grave if you don't wish to. Oops, we got stuck there. You could come up here and land in a flatter spot and look for more hazardous flora elsewhere. So, we're going to go ahead and take it out of here now. And as we enter space... Deal. I want to thank you all for watching, and we're going to check out the Quicksilver Vendor as well, and see what he has in store for us, and see what things we've got. Plus, we have our Minotaur. We got all of our parts from the latest expedition. So, if you haven't done the expedition, we'll be putting out a guide probably really, really shortly. Hopefully, this weekend. Uh, if not, you'll be seeing it sometime next week in regards to completing this particular. Well, as many times as you've seen me do a speed run, I'm sure you already know how the game is played. <laughs> But there are ways to get this done in a very quick fashion, so you can have it done in the next week or so. The expedition will end, by the way, not this coming Monday, but the following Monday. Very early in the morning, Eastern Eastern Daylight Time. So here's our liquidator arms that we've gotten, all four of them. The body, the right arm, the legs, and the left arm. So we have these new accoutrements to our minotaur that we can now add on. We don't have anything new that we've acquired just yet, but it won't be... Uh, that stuff won't be going live until the end of the expedition so and if you want to you can take your regular save and do it from here as well the expedition terminus so you can select equipment and start your own run through of the expedition so that's a great thing to do all right so that should take care of it as you can see the icon while it's still there i should not be able to we're going to complete the mission that's done we've got our reward and you'll see the icon is now gone so, that takes care of our mission. Well, folks, that should take care of this for today. Again, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you like what you've been seeing. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything, but a little time every now and then to watch a couple of the videos on my channel. So I want to thank you again for being here. Basically, is all it is. Thank you again. We're going to wave goodbye right now. We'll see you guys next week at the next Expedition Mission. Take care, everybody.